India, there's also a stigma, just like learning psychology. But to be honest, it's just like learning anything against uh, engineering and commerce. But uh, especially like into the, like learning psychology, uh, there's a there's a lot of stigma. So not even a lot of people go into that field. So what do you think? Uh, there's a stigma there, and uh, what can we do to uh, like take that stigma off? I am. I'm not too professional in that uh, topic, especially with the uh, education industry in India. But uh, what I do know, though, is one of the major contributing factors is the lack of uh, resources towards mental health. Um, in terms of funding, for instance, for every 100 people, the amount projected and collected for mental health funding is just about 33 paisa, which comes down to 0.4 US dollar cents. So perhaps, you know, having, and certainly having very little funding to go with it, that would discourage uh, the job opportunities or the prospects of people. So that may have led to you know, a huge stigma against going into psychology, going to uh, helping people, especially with, with therapy and all, which is very different in, in different countries around the world. Here in the US, for instance, uh, being a therapist can uh, be very rewarding provided you know how to do your job, right? So that, in terms of funding, uh, it certainly plays a very huge role in determining if a person actually enrolls, if it has prospects. Uh, Vyas, I'll let you add on to this one. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good that's a good point. Uh, you know, you, you follow where the money goes. So you know, if uh, if, you don't create the right incentives for people to enter a field that can discourage them, you know, maybe after one or two years, if they give it a try, and if it doesn't work out, they move to something else that's better in terms of providing food for their family. So, and uh, I guess people, uh, people are willing to talk about it a bit more and uh, it's slowly going to change. And uh, I was just talking to, uh, you know, friend, she's a psychologist now. Uh, so she finished her bachelor's and master's here in India. And uh, I, I caught up with her after a long time. And, uh, you know, she was, she has a, a clinic in, in Huzur, which is a place where uh, I lived for a few years here in India. So she started her own clinic. And, uh, you know, and she, and she has some really interesting ideas, which I like. I don't know if this is a part of your question. So she had this, uh, she had this service where you could text, you know, if you didn't want to talk to anyone, if you just wanted to vent your feelings through texts and she had a service like that. And, uh, you know, along with, uh, you know, video and online and offline visits with the psychologist. So, so there are these interesting things that are coming up. That's something that I never thought of. You know, that's, that's great actually. So that what's hap that's what happens when it comes to you know, suicide prevention hotlines as well. So there's, there's places where you can call and there's, uh, there's sometimes you have, there are specific websites where you can just text and went and there's just people who are willing to listen and they just say, and uh, there, there's a time I've used that as well. Uh, I, you know, I, I was at a place where I wanted to do that. So these things happen. So there, there are psychologists you know, who are coming up with these ideas and offering these services. Uh, so it's, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful. I, I don't know if that answers the question, but uh, it's, it's interesting uh, to see where this goes. These um, services uh, uh, definitely Akshay, help. Bushra? Excuse me. Yeah, I wanted to add on something uh, when Akshay mentioned about uh, actually having people text and, and sharing their thoughts in that way. Uh, from that, another important thing though is also education. Uh, there was this one study that was conducted by the Indian Journal of uh, Psychiatry. This was done a couple of years back. They wanted to see if people were going to go into psychology and what are their thoughts on stigma against mental health. And uh, what they did was uh, they talked about schizophrenia. It's, it's when uh, you know people would hallucinate and they would think that things are there. It's, it, it is real for them in their mind, but it's hard for people to understand because they, they don't see it. And normally seeing is believing, but sometimes when it's in your mind, that's that's what they believe, right? So anyway, the Indian Journal of Psychiatry, what they did was they reached out to a huge amount of respondents 
and ask them, what do you think about this? Do you believe in it? What are the stigma against it? And uh, what they found was a lot of people who didn't believe in mental health, they did uh, the, the data analysis from that, about 34% of them, of the respondents, you know, they said that you know this is not real and uh, I'm not going to spend any time to deal with this issue, which is quite alarming at the time. And uh, the average amount of education that uh, they had was about 12.4 years. And uh, versus the other side of the group, 56% of them agreed and was willing to help out. They understood the stigma behind it. They had an average about 34.7 years. So having a huge amount of education and pushing in society to, to learn more to, to educate more in urban more urban settings would definitely help switch the sigma and to joining in psychology and i'm pretty sure that's how we have all these amazing services suicide hotlines and everything else uh, booming and jumping in right now uh what it says is way way true uh with the education uh, it definitely plays a huge role and especially like uh, it is a good time because i think last year uh, there was new education policy and uh, I don't remember much of it, but I do remember uh, it was uh, welcoming to uh, psychology and mental health and things like that. And uh, I also see a rise in uh, psychology classes in school because uh, not uh, all schools like in India don't really offer uh, psychology as a subject that you can uh, even uh, study. So you, you might have to go to uh, special schools, but I think, uh, that there is a rise in that. And of course, as both of you have said, uh, these services are very, very helpful because uh, by seeing these services, if somebody, people use it, then uh, people can see that, hey, uh, these services are helping me and I should probably go into that uh, field too. Whereas I think one of the reasons why uh, engineering is very popular is because they're able to see that engineering uh, has played a role in their lives. Whereas uh, because of the stigma, not a lot of people have gone to uh, therapists or like psychologists. And uh, so unless you uh, come across it, you don't think of that field as uh, one of the things that you want to pursue as well. So I think that definitely uh, plays a role. And of course, like uh, the biggest thing would be the funding. The government has to put more uh, funds into this. Um, and like, as you said, the, th the 33 paisa like is... Uh, that's a really bad uh, thing. And I found like another one where that said uh, in, uh, probably the same thing, but like India basically spent uh, less than 1% of its total healthcare budget on mental health in uh, 2017. And uh, these things sort of like scare us because uh, hopefully in 2020, uh, there are, uh, uh, there is a rise in the awareness of mental illness because uh, because of course, you know, like we were all in quarantine and uh, quarantine, and that definitely uh, hit us uh, pretty bad. A lot of people needed the help, and so a lot of people also recognized the help. And uh, we didn't have enough therapists, we didn't have enough psychologists. A lot of people at that point, it was not a problem of uh, people not having the awareness to go to a therapist, but actually, we didn't have enough therapists to go to. And uh, so, obviously, in those times, online uh, therapists those sort of help, but uh, we can definitely uh, go one step higher in this. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos on the topic, make sure to check out our playlist where we answer more questions. We'll see you next time.